Please welcome Solin Ali, Charité Universitätsmedizin, Berlin. Tumor-derived vesicles impair CD4 and CAR T cell efficacy. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, our goal is it to end chemotherapy uh, in childhood cancer and replace it with a much more targeted approach because uh, chemotherapy uh, in neuroblastoma, the most common extracranial solid tumor, is uh, currently not very effective. Um, so what we need is a kind of therapy that is uh, higher in efficacy uh, and in uh, toxicity and especially also in the specificity. And as we have already heard today, CAR T cells are a great way to do that. Um, CAR T cells are, just to recap, a uh, kind of um, uh, redirected immune therapy. Uh, they are T cells that express a chimeric antigen receptor with, with which they can um, target a tumor-associated antigen and uh, this way target the uh, tumor specifically. Um, currently, CD171 specific CAR T cells are in phase one trial against neuroblastoma. Uh, for neuroblastoma and for other solid tumors alike, a crucial mechanism for tumor uh, development and ultimately perseverance is the production of tumor-derived extracellular vesicles. These vesicles are enriched in immunoregulatory proteins and can this way hamper the body's immune system. Um, apart from that, neuroblastoma's malignancy is also in a large part defined by the expression of tyrosine receptor kinases and TREK1 and 2, which are also often referred to as TREK A and TREK B. These are directly uh, correlated to the clinical outcome, with TREK A expression being cor correlated to a positive clinical outcome, whereas TREK B expression is um, associated with a negative clinical outcome. Um, so we asked ourselves uh, what. Um, uh, what role these tumor-derived extracellular vesicles play if we want to use CAR T-cells against neuroblastoma. So what we could find out that is that our CAR T-cells withstood the tumor vesicles and showed uh, constant viability and cytokine production and a continuous expression of exhaustion markers. Um, apart from that, the CD8 positive subgroup of CAR T-cells uh, showed a, a continuous cytotoxicity against the tumor. However, the CD4 subgroup of CAR T cells was significantly impaired when they were faced with the tumor vesicles beforehand, um, as you can see here uh, in comparison to the CD8 subgroup and on this graph. Um, uh, and these changes all happened <coughs> independent of NTRAC expression, which was also uh, a bit surprising. So now, of course, the important question is, um, how do these vesicles do that without altering all these other variables to the same degree and why do they only impair the CD4 subgroup? Uh, for now, the short answer is that uh, more research is needed to be done, but if you have any inspiration or any idea on where this research might be heading, I'd be glad to have a talk about it later. Thank you very much.